Go ahead, Madison. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord, everybody. Amen. If we could stand on our feet and give the Lord a hand clap praise in the house on this morning. Amen. Let's give the Lord a hand clap praise. Amen. We thank you for his goodness and his mercy, his love, his kindness that he's shown towards us each and every day. Great is thy faithfulness unto our Lord in Jesus' name. We have come into this house together in his name to worship him. Hallelujah. We have come into this house. Gracious and eternal God, our Father, it is in the blessed name of your Son, Jesus Christ, that we come, Lord, to say thank you for in all things we are instructed to give thanks. For this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning us. Lord, we are grateful today to be able to say that we are the sons and daughters of God. By faith in the shed blood of Jesus Christ. We thank you, Father, that when we approached you, Lord God, you did not turn away from us. But you said, lay your head upon my breast yes. and I'll give you rest. And for this, Lord, we say thank you. We thank you, Father, for this another opportunity to gather in your tabernacle, Lord God, to mingle our voices together and offer unto you the fruit of our lips, the sacrifice of praise. Oh God, dwell in the midst of our praise today, Lord God. For your word decreed that you inhabit the praises of his people. Oh God, do it for your glory. Save some lost soul today. That one that know you not, Lord, that one that is near as hell. Oh God, give them a beckoning call to come unto you, Lord God, where you're able to give rest. Touch, heal, and deliver, Lord God. Bless now as only you can do. Remember our nation. All of our governmental leaders, Lord, we pray for them. 
Lord God, that their minds might be turned to you. Lord God, for the nation that forget God shall be turned into hell. Lord, remember our nation. Save them. Save us, Lord, for your glory. Do it, Lord, and we'll bless your name. All these blessings and all others we ask in the name, Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Romans chapter 4, excuse me, verse 5, chapter 15, verse 4. All scripture of before time were written for our learning that we through patience and the comfort of the scriptures might have hope in Jesus' name. Amen. Yes. Amen. Let's give the Lord a hand clap for the prayer and the scripture. Unto thee, O oh Lord, will I lift up my soul. Peace, love. 
You've been 
I worship you. Oh, that's why we call you Waymaker, Waymaker, Miracle Worker, Promise. Him as a way maker, his track record is unmatched. But 
so we have no other reason but to believe and trust in him because if he said it he shall do it how many know him as a way maker how many know him as a burden and a deliverer he's the promise keeper yes he is the great i am father we thank you right now because you've done it over and over and over again we have no other choice but to believe you because you have proven it your word says it and we believe and we trust in you jesus hallelujah hallelujah Father, we worship you. Come on, give Jesus a hand clap of praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. He's a great God, and he deserves a great praise. He'll preserve he you him to do the impossible. He will preserve you until he answers our prayers. prayers. To we do will the will believe. of our life. We believe you, Lord. We trust you. Lord, we trust you in the name of Jesus. In Hallelujah. We're going to close this part of our service, but before we do, we ask that you stand on your feet and give God a great praise. Now that you've worshipped him for who he is, now come on and praise him for what you know and believe yes. that God is able and capable to do. Lord, we praise you. Lord, we thank you. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you right now, Jesus. Lord, we praise you. Lord, we praise you. Yeah. Hallelujah. 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 Come on, come on, come on. Praise him, praise him. Hallelujah. Come on, come on. Let's take, let's change the camera. Let's take you to church. Come on, praise the praise Come on. Come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, praise the praise the praise the praise the praise the Come on, open up your mouth and give it praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lord, Lord, Lord we praise you. Lord, we praise you. Hallelujah. Lord, we praise you. Lord, you're worthy. Lord, you're worthy. For he is a strength giver. Hallelujah. 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 Lord, we praise you. We praise you in advance, we Lord. We give you the praise. But when we know we you give are you the praise. praise. We give you the praise. We give you the praise. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, women. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Come on, open up your mouth. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Jesus. Hallelujah. Look at your name and say he is a promise keeper. That whatsoever he has promised, he shall do. Yes, he will. He shall bring it to pass. 
I bless his wonderful name today. Glorify him because he is worthy to be praised. I'm not wasting my word praise. Amen. God has been good to me. And I bless his wonderful name. Thank God for his mercy and his abundant grace toward my life. And I do bless him today. I love the Lord with all of my heart. Let's give the praise team a hand of praise unto the Lord. Amen. For leading us into the presence of the Lord. If you didn't feel the anointing of the Holy Spirit, well, ain't nobody fault but yours. Amen. Because the Lord has been here and he is here and he's going to be here by his wonderful grace. And we bless the Lord today. We certainly give honor to all of our ministerial brethren, to our sister Pastor Ella Kelsey Mag, to Sister Pastor Ella Willis C. Hampton, to all of our deacons, our mothers, to all of our wonderful people, and certainly to our beautiful First Lady Shepherd Mother Smith. Let's all give the Lord a hand, praise. Amen. For all the beautiful mothers on this morning. Happy Mother's Day to all of you. Amen. We certainly bless the Lord for all of you. I thank God for, amen, the mother of my children. Amen. I bless God for her, the sacrifice, amen, that she gave that I would have some children to hold in my arms and call my own. Praise the name of the Lord. I remember when we were still believing the Lord for children. And one night, amen, as we were real young, and she just began to weep. As I held her in my arms and she said, oh, David, I want to give you a child. And God did just that for her. And I bless God for that. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. What a wonderful Lord we serve. We thank God for all the beautiful children, grandchildren, and great-grandchildren. Amen. Amen. That have come forth from all of our loins. Amen. We bless the Lord. And I do praise God for the fact that I asked God to save all of my children. And he did that. And I asked the Lord, I said, Lord, you save all that come from my loins. And he's done that so far. And I'm believing him to do it, even if my bones are bleaching in the grave. And I do bless the sweet name of Jesus today. We certainly reverence him. We thank God. Amen. Again, as we said, this is Mother's Day. And we bless the Lord and we praise God. Amen. For all of you, we thank God for our sweet church mother. Amen. Uh, mother Jimmy Dunning. Amen. And she represented Beulah on yesterday in the mother-daughter banquet. Amen. Which was um, uh, represented or won, you might say, by Mother Barbara Green from Refuge Temple of Praise. And we salute all the mothers that participated in that uh, program on yesterday. And we certainly bless the Lord and praise God for uh, the wonderful blessings of the Lord. Thank God for um, uh, my grandson representing the brothers in the pseuditude. Amen. <laughs> praise the name of the Lord. So we just bless the Lord for his goodness and his mercy. Amen. Now, I need to say here that I'm looking for all of us. When I say all of us, I mean all of us. I'm going to say it just like this. I'm going to be very disappointed. You grown people, I can't make you do nothing. But I have a right as a pastor to ask you to do certain things. And next Sunday at 5 o'clock will be a citywide Pentecostal fellowship at Kingdom Life Ministries on uh, Magnolia Street across from uh, what's the name of that? Uh, DSS and uh, Roosevelt Gardens. Hmm? What did they say? Family Health Center. Alright, so let's, let's keep that in mind on next Sunday at 5 o'clock. Uh, I'm one of the host pastors. We're Pastor uh, James Rosen 
and the saints from kingdom life is the host church and he's asked all of us to come together amen for pentecost as next sunday is pentecost sunday uh, by the grace of god we are continuing on our pentecostal fast and believe in the lord to uh, do great things for us y'all i got to buy some more clothes y'all want to help me buy some more clothes yeah. <laughs> amen because every stitch of clothes i got in my closet falling off of me okay uh, i got to have three and four belts and suspenders and stuff to hold them up but i'm just joking but i am so grateful to the lord amen for the blessings of the lord so uh, let's continue on the pentecostal fast uh, we'll be co completing it after service on next sunday morning amen as we celebrate pentecost uh 19 excuse me 2024 as we look to the lord i was looking in today and I said this august 8th will be 59 years that god baptized me in the holy ghost amen that's a long time amen and mother smith is not far behind uh, i got a, a year behind as a matter of fact I got saved in 65 and she got saved in 1966. Praise the name of the Lord. 1966. And I say that because uh, I, I have not but a few times, I said this recently, but a few times since I've known her, that I've heard her testify. I know of no person I know of that I've ever heard testify, praise God for their salvation, the day of their salvation and tell it with the same tear, fear, conviction and gratefulness to God every single time. My God, to be able to thank God for the Holy Ghost that he placed within your soul. Hallelujah. And I bless God for that in such a wonderful way. It warms my heart every time I hear her say that. 1966. My God, what a wonderful God he is. And I bless the Lord. So many of you weren't even born at that time. But I do wonderfully bless the name of God today. And we bless the Lord. We know, amen, that uh, Elder Hampton has a word from the Lord. And we are looking forward to it. I want you to make sure that you tune in Wednesday night for Bible study. And we'll be passing, sending out, emailing out the Bible lesson on uh, tomorrow. So pay attention to your uh, texts and your and, and your um, emails on tomorrow by the grace of God. All right, Sister Benjamin is going to come and give us our offertory directions, and then we're going to ask you to stand for the blessing of God.
he was there. Oh, the time. Thank you, Father, for your eternal presence. For your word decreed that in your presence is the fullness of joy and pleasures at your right hand forevermore. We thank you, Father, for your visitation in the midst of us today to elevate us, Lord God, to a higher level. Oh, dear God, I pray now that same level of anointing to rest upon your people as they come that the spirit of expectancy will be upon them to know as they give, you will give, and they shall receive. Bless now, Father, both the gifts and the givers, and we will glorify you, magnify, exalt your name. All blessings we ask now in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. Just before the announcements, they have some presentations to make in Jesus' name. Mother, don't you thank God for it? Praise the Lord, everybody. Happy Mother's Day to all of the mothers that are here on today. And we have several um, groups that would like to share and show love to our mothers. Um, first, um, we're going to have our gifts from the uh, Smith family, we usually try to give something to all of the mothers on Mother's Day and all of the fathers on Father's Day. And then we have our missionary department who would like to present something to our mothers and then uh, our pastor's aid department. So we'll ask uh, some of the children to come up and we're going to give um, from the Smith family uh, just a little 
Um, thank you for being the bomb. Get it? It's a soap bomb and an eye mask for you so that you can get some relaxing time, okay? So if you are a mother, um, please stand because we're going to have some of the children to come and pass uh, these um, soap bombs, eye masks, as well as carnations and chocolates to our mothers. Come on, Casey. Give one to everybody who's standing up. Give one to somebody who's standing up. Okay? And then come back. Come on. Give one to everybody who's standing up. Hey, bud. Give one to somebody. Yes. Give one to everybody who's standing up. We need some more flowers. Give one to everybody who's standing up. Come here, mister. Give one to everybody who's standing up. Go get your mommy and grandma. Yes. Give it to these three mothers right here. Huh? I don't know. It'll help us know if you have both things. If you once you've gotten the soap bomb and the flowers, if you have a seat, and that'll let the children know who need to give what to who. If you're missing something, just stand so the children can know who to come to. Thank you, children. Y'all can go back to your seats now. Mother's Day again to all of you. All the children are going to come up front in a few minutes to be led by a song with um, Sister Zenobia in honor to all our mothers. But until then, I'd like to say God bless you. I give honor to my Lord and Savior, to Bishop, to Mother Smith, to the, our local missionary president, Sister Sandy Wright, our um, upstate president, Sister Lena Miller, and this presentation is in honor of the missionary department. In the past, if some of us remember, we have done handmade baskets for the mothers, we've done candles for the mothers, foot massages, aerobic therapy, hats, scarves, gift cards, etc., etc., etc. And we, we love our mothers. And every year we don't forget them. So on this year, I like to present the card first, and then we're going to present a gift, a love token to all our mothers. It's Mother's Day, the perfect day to celebrate you and your general, generous heart. So many times you lighten a mold, brighten a day by being your warm, wonderful self, mothers. 
hoping that this Mother's Day brings you the same kind of happiness and love that you give to so many every single year. And so you don't forget us, so we don't won't forget you. First, we're going to have, what's the name? Mother Smith. God bless you, Mother Smith. No, not the box. That's a bag. Next, we have Mother Lee. Just look inside the envelope and it give you the name. Look in the pink envelope and it'll tell you the name. Mother Dunning is next. Mother Dunning. Mm -hmm. Just the bag because the box this year is too heavy to carry. <laughs> so you will receive your box on the way out. Next, we have Mother Payne. And Mother Payne is not here, so someone will receive her gift later. And we have Mother Hampton. And that's Mother Payne. She'll, she'll just stay. And then last but not least, we have Is that Mother? Who's that? Mother Kahi. Okay. <laughs> yeah. All right, can all the children come up front? Thank you. Sister Zenova, you ready? Okay. If you missed the mother-daughter banquet on yesterday, the children sang a song to the mothers. And they did a great job. Praise the Lord, everybody. Um, first giving all the Christ who's ahead of my life to Bishop Smith and Mother Smith and everybody in their respective places. Um, I just want to say happy Mother's Day. Everybody looks so beautiful. Um, this song, um, the Lord has blessed Kingston with a gift of song. This is his second song that he wrote, um, or we wrote together. Um, and, and he always comes and sings these songs to me. And, um, and I asked him, I said, well, Kingston, why you always got the same thing? So I was cleaning the collard greens. I was cleaning the collard greens, and he came to the sink, and he said, uh, please help me, mommy. Please help me, mommy. And, and I said, oh, my goodness, Kingston, do you have to yell and say that? And he said, help me, mommy. And I said, Kingston, you know, I think you you helped me uh, um, put together this Mother's Day song that I was supposed to, you know, put together for uh, Mother Lena Smith. I'm Lena Miller, I'm sorry, and um, 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 Sister Kimberly from Greenville. Okay, so we're going to sing this uh, song, and we hope that you guys enjoy it. I'm sorry about the name. So. Happy Mother's Day, Mommy. Happy Mother's Day, Mommy. Happy Mother's Day, Mommy. And we thank Jesus for you. Happy Mother's Day, Mommy. Happy Mother's Day, Mommy. Happy Mother's Day, Mommy. And we thank God for you. My mommy is the very best. She really helps me out. Whenever I'm in trouble, she goes to God in prayer. I know the Lord is keeping her. I thank him every day. No matter what may come my way, she goes to God for me. Happy Mother's Day, Mommy. Happy Mother's Day, Mommy. Happy 
Mother's Day, Mommy. And we thank Jesus for you. One more time. Happy Mother's Day, Mommy. Happy Mother's Day, Mommy. Happy Mother's Day, Mommy. And we thank Jesus for you. Happy Mother's Day, Mothers. God bless you. Thank you. Amen. Wasn't that sweet? Amen. Just one more presentation to our Mother Smith. I was told to do this. Mother Smith, this is from uh, Dr. Donella Wilson and the South Carolina Upstate Women's Ministry. We love you on today. Amen. <laughs> Praise the Lord, everyone. Uh, give it on to our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ on, on this morning to uh, Bishop Smith and Shepherd Mother Betty Smith. We want to say Happy Mother's Day to you from the South Carolina Upstate Diocese Missionary Department. <laughs> and I guess they saved the best for last. <laughs> We hope that comes true. <laughs> Amen. She's a working woman. And what can you do? She's a working woman. Praise the Lord, everybody. And again, happy Mother's Day. I don't mean to be long announcements before you, but I do have a few things we need to say. Don't forget on next Sunday is Missionary Rally Day. If you have not gotten your sheet to know whose team you're on, please do so and get with your team members because next Sunday morning, is missionary rally and our sister our right is looking forward to that she also says thank you to everyone that participated on yesterday at the mother daughter banquet on yesterday she says thank you thank you so much and we say missionary miller you did a yeoman's job on yesterday you're on your team god bless you our pastors already mentioned our pentecost pentecost united service at 5 p.m next sunday afternoon at kingdom life also next sunday is next saturday the 18th is mother wolf Hawks dinner that we have every year and that's going to be via zoom so if you would like to be a part of that please let sister wright know today or me know today if you would like to be a part of mother wolf Hawks dinner and I said that zoom so you don't have to go anywhere also remember continuing our fast until next Sunday after service I believe that's all the immediate announcement but remember to oh the 25th ministries and deacon wives Gil rally day is at 1 p.m. at United Church Ministers and Deacon Wives Guild Rally Day on the 25th of this month. Remember to pray one for another. I pray for you and you pray for me. Continue to pray for our Deacon Jimmy Miller, our sister Sandy Wright, our sister Payne, and the Huggins family. Remember to pray for our brother Henry and his sister, our sister Mary Huggins, and her family also are asking for prayer. Pray much one for another. This quote is really to the mothers um, on today and this week. It says, we delight in the beauty of the butterfly, but rarely admit 
the changes it has gone through to achieve that beauty. Mothers, we are talking about you in Jesus' name. God bless. If I never see another smile of earth, if I never breathe another breath, or take another step, I want to say thank you. If I never hear what's to be heard, if I never speak another word, if I never see another side or taste another bite, I want to do that. If I never scared the China wall, I that I don't see the ties of my heart. If I never find a special friend, if a search is run over and back again, Lord, I gotta say thank you. If I never hear what's to be heard, if I never speak another word, if I never see another side of Taste another bite. I want to say thank you. I thank you for all. Thank you. Anybody thankful for what the Lord has done for you? Yeah, yeah. For being the God that you are. Thank you, Lord. If I never leave another day, if I never see another smiling face, if I never see another side or taste another bite, I want to say thank you. If I never scale the child of war, oh, I think I'm right up and don't see the tides of my heart. If I never find a special friend, if I search as well over and back again, Lord, I gotta say thank you. I thank you for all. Thank you, Lord. Lord, I thank you, Jesus. You can't so good to me, Lord. Thank you, 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 thank you
thank you, thank you. you but I'm feeling mighty good in my spirit in my soul God got a message the evidence is so strong you don't have to ask nobody whether he's real or not because the evidence is so strong even a fool has said in his heart there's no God we greet all of you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ pastor most everyone under the sound of my voice I will greet you but this message is for everyone, save or unsaved, that you can see the hand of God. He's working in what he has done. Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we thank you for this blessing. We thank you, Lord, that you have allowed us to be able to witness your testimony, a living testimony of your works, your wonderful works to the mothers to the mothers this is your day you are evidence of God exists life comes from God life goes back to God Lord help us to understand what it is to know where we will spend eternity heaven is our home let the redeemer of the Lord say amen. amen. Now this is going to be a part two, a part three, and maybe part four of the message. But this is just building a foundation to where the Lord is leading me. And you can't argue with me because what God has given me to preach, you are a witness. I'm going to ask my wife to read my text. Remember, keep in mind this just going to be part two and part three is part one because I want you to enjoy you know, your time as a mother. Genesis. Genesis. 320. 320. And Adam called his wife's name Eve because this, she it, it, was the mother of all living. Read it again. And Adam called his wife's name Eve. Because she was the mother of all living. God honored that. The mother. Maybe some of your version might read the mother of all things. But I have to stay with what God put in my heart. A mother. Who can be a mother? What is the definition of mother? Just two words. Female parent. Female parent. Female parent. Female parent. A man cannot be a mother. God didn't put that DNA in a man. Only a woman can be a mother, a mother, a mother. No one of us will be sitting in here today if God haven't given us life through a mother. You can say amen, you don't want to say it, but look at a woman in a different light. When I think about how I got here, it was a mother, a mother, a mother. Adam said, of all living, God is life. God is alive, he's not dead. He is about living. 
living, living. What happened? Keep with me now. You know the story. Mother. When you think of mother, look around. Every little female girl that's born into the world has that DNA in her. The potential of being a mother. I'm going deep and deep now. She has that potential. Not a man, not a boy, but a female. Mother. God Honor that. Just think about life. God give it. God take it. Life going to end with us. But you will live somewhere throughout eternity. You might well say amen to it. God got it fixed already. It's been fixed. huh? huh? And it's about life. A uh, mother. I got a laugh out of uh, my wife tell me a little story, not true, and I laugh about it, about Sean and his mother, Nisi. When Sean was a little boy pulling on Nisi's dress, just pulling on, mommy, 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 mommy. Nisi keep ignoring him. Children are smarter than what you think they are. So he realized. One thing for me to do to get her attention. She, mommy, mommy. <laughs> Nisi. <laughs> Nisi, jump. What you call me, boy? <laughs> and he started crying. Because he is not there yet. <laughs> he is not at the age of accountability. He don't know. But he knew it was wrong. But it got her attention. God knows how to get your attention. I'm talking about a mother, huh? No one can give you the affection that a mother can give. She don't have, you don't have that DNA as a man. And I'm going to cut across, make it real short and sweet. So what did God do? But think about it. I'm going to add stay to Eve. I'm going to add stay to we say Mother's Day. I'm going to add stay to that. What I'm saying, stay in God's will, mothers. Stay in the will. Adam and Eve got out of the will. But that didn't alternate God praying. And you know who came in. That God, the devil came in. He already been kicked out of heaven. He know what his end is going to be. But he want to take as many of you with him. Don't want you to become what, what? Knowledgeable of what God say. He's working on that every day. I've seen folks just realize when I see a woman, the first thing comes to my mind as a preacher, life. 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 You are alive. The rich man in hell opened up his eyes. He was alive, but he was in hell. Tell my brothers, don't come down here. He's going to be tormented for the rest of his life in hell. Burning fire, burning flame. But God wants you to know who did he choose to come in to this world. Listen to me real close. He chose a mother to be the mother of his son, Jesus Christ. He chose a mother. Well, how, how do you see a mother? When? The Holy Spirit came up on Mary. Listen to me real close. She wasn't married yet. But she was a holy woman. The Spirit of the Holy Ghost came up on Mary. And at that point, what? She has conceived. Listen to me real close now. She has conceived. Now she is a mother. Now she is a mother. Huh? But it was a Holy woman of God who knew not a man. How do you deal with something like that? How do you explain that to anybody as a woman? I'm pertinent. I never knew a man. You think a, a man going to believe that? Come on, get with me now. Just, let this come and sense. What man going to believe you talking about you got pertinent and you knew no man? It's funny, and it's true. It is funny. All Mary had to do was keep 
her mouth shut. Couldn't have to explain nothing to Joseph. God visit Joseph and let him know, fear not to take the answer, but, but not now. Fear not, but not now. You, I see the hand of God working in my life in some things that if it had not been for God, I'm telling you right now, I probably would even now be in prison. So things I've gone through, and I know it's God. I see the hand of God moving, and I know it's God. So here's Mary, huh? Here's Mary, a mother, huh? Carrying a child. The Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of God, in that womb. Sanctified womb. Huh? So God took to all you mothers this thing about it. When anybody tried to down you and degrade you, just tell me it wasn't for you, you wouldn't be here. Don't be afraid of them that if it wasn't for me, you wouldn't be here. Huh? Because God chose to what? Bring life to the womb. That means life is living. God is not dead, huh? He is living. And I'm living life right now for this moment to the fullness of it. I tell anybody that. I, well, what I'm going through, I'm living life to the fullness right now. Because I know what the end going to be. When I think about scriptures like Job said, naked I come in this world and naked I'm going out. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Bless him at all times. And the devil will never take your joy. Because you try and say, well, it doesn't matter with me now. It do matter with God about where you're going to spend eternity. I've heard some people say, well, I don't care what happens. It doesn't matter. With me. But thank God it matters. He cares about you. He loves you, mothers. He wants you to appreciate him because what? He wants you to look at yourself and say, who am I as a woman? Huh? Who am a little girl, a little baby, female girl? What? That's potential. That she grow up, whether well, she choose to have children or not. That's her decision. But she still got God DNA in her. She still got that affection, huh? That only a mother can give any boy or girl, any child. My mother raised me. I've seen my mother cry when my daddy was beating me so hard. She, she didn't want to intervene because she knew she was doing the right thing. But she got to a point where and then she stepped over there. That's enough, Pat. That's enough. And I could see the tears in her eyes running down because she was a mother. She, she know that they're beating me like that to death like that is not going to change nothing. I might become more rebellious. But when you discipline your child, spare it all, know when to stop, know how far to go. Don't let the devil come over and take over because you say, well, I ain't going to deal with this problem no more, so I'm going to fix it. And he put that pedal to me. I guarantee you, fix a whole lot of stuff. I'm telling you, fix a whole lot of stuff. But I knew something about obeying my parents. But I'm trying to say now, Jesus Christ, born into this world. And I'm going to cut it short now. He was born into this world. The problem was sin. Sin. S-I-N. What is sin? Sin is disobedient. To one man came in. And that was Adam. You can't blame it on the woman, but she, you know, got her rebuke and what God did. But it's the man, that woman you gave me. Huh? Ain't that sound just like us? Got to blame somebody. Who are looking around here? I can blame. Who got something to do with my problem? You come up with somebody name. That woman you gave me. Huh? In other words, if you hadn't given me that woman, I never would have been in the position that I am. Now, look, God told him, to don't touch the tree of life. Don't touch that tree. One thing, don't touch that tree. But the devil came in. He done been kicked out. Yeah, I know God. You don't think the devil knows scripture? Yeah, I know the Lord tell you that. But he tried to let Eve think God was holding something back from him. You know what I mean? I trust God. Whatever he's holding back from me, I trust him. Huh? I mean, I get the blessing that he comes to right on time, but I know I got a blessing coming. I know I got one coming. I know where I'm going. I know I got life. 
And he wants me to enjoy it to the fullness, no matter what I'm going through. I'm going to pray the prayer for this for me crows out here. It's salvation and delivery. He's still working miracles. But he wants to teach you something through the things that you suffer. I, I, I know the devil is behind a lot of the sickness and disease. But God is trying to say what? Oh, that's been fixed, huh? It's been fixed, huh? It's been fixed. I'm talking about a mother's. How many in the scriptures I believe Jesus Christ was doing God's will, huh? Here come the devil talking to uh, the people, the disciples. Well, your mother trying to interrupt God's plan. His plan was to go to that cross. If he listened to these disciples who was against him, and obey him, he never would got to that cross. What they was trying to make Jesus think, your mother don't care. Your, your, uh, Jesus don't care about you. If he was your mother, he, would, he, would, he wouldn't be overlooking you. Uh, uh, Jesus, your mother's here. Your mother's here outside. And what Jesus was supposed to do, stop everything and say, make room for my mother. Let her come on up there first. He didn't say that. He didn't say that. What did he say? You know the scripture he said. Who is my mother? Who is my mother? Who is my father? Who is my mother? Who is my mother? He said my mother is what? What? Them that do the will of God. In heaven. That's my mother. Because what? He recognized the fact that the enemy don't want him to go to that cross. Don't want him to pay. I couldn't pay that debt, sin debt. Ain't no way, huh? huh? I'm a sinner born inside my mother's womb. I was conceived in sin. So how can I, uh, uh, the blood that I shed is life and flesh is in the blood. But my blood ain't going to get me into heaven. Where will you spend eternity? The choice is yours. You make the choice. I went to a guy the other day and had a load I needed to drop off. And he looked at me and I said, well, they tell me to drop it off here. Now, he's one of the head managers at the place. You know what he tell me? I can't call that shot. What, what do you mean? I'm not going to tell you where to drop that because I ain't in a position to call it. So he had to go to somebody up over him and get permission for me to drop it. It, 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 it is like God. Huh? He called the shot. You go to God and tell him about your problem. Tell him what you're going through. Get, call somebody to prayer warrior to pray for you. No one can pray like the weeping women of God. When they cry out, there's a certain kind of vo their vocal cord is different. You can tell me, I can tell when a man and a woman, somebody behind clothes go talk, whether it's a man or a woman. Because that vocal cord, huh? That woman, how do that? And that man, and he come out there looking at me like he is a woman. And I'm looking at him, and I said to myself, well, he got to be kidding. <laughs> he don't have that DNA in him, and you can't fake it. Some people trying to fake it, huh? Huh? You mean to tell me you want to be a mother? Who are you saying, yeah, go ahead and be a mother? You tampering with God's will. When they talk about uh, fetus, when is a child in the mother's womb come alive Jesus Christ said I knew you before you even born uh, so if he put you inside that woman huh? don't you think he know that he wants to show you something he wants to show us something huh? she is a mother he is the mother my son she is the mother of my child and when she gave birth to him what happened I'm going to cut this off the devil tried to kill him. Didn't want him to become a man. She had to took him down into Egypt. Into a strange land, huh? Because the devil can kill Jesus Christ. Is it for you and I? Is it for you and I? He is the only God that loves you so much. The Bible that he gave his only. Only. He didn't have a one, huh? Begotten son that whosoever will, huh? You believe in him, you ain't gonna perish. You think life is long, life is so short down here. It's it's so short. But then we can fight, fight, fight until we get to the point where 
we forget where is our home. Huh? This earth is not your home. The scripture said we are strangers just traveling through. Just traveling through. We're going into a place, huh? a real place, huh? No more dying, no more sickness. You're going to see Jesus Christ face to face one day. You're going to see his face, huh? Y'all sing that song, oh, I like to see that look up on his face. You're going to see his face, huh? And the Bible says your body, you're going to be uh, have the same body that he has. He's going to transform you. Huh? So, 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 so I'm telling you, that I want to see his face, huh? I would like to see all the apostles, huh? And how they died and how they went through it and how they're still alive. They forgot about things and they got so close to God until that anointing, that Holy Ghost. I believe the Holy Ghost in each one of us here today that are saved. I really believe that. Think I'm a fool, but I believe that. You come in here with the Holy Ghost in you. So sickness and disease and everything in here. What? We got authority over here. We got the authority over here. God give you that authority. That's why you need to make your way to the house of God. Those that are watching by Facebook and what it is, I got a word for you, huh? Think about it. Where will you spend eternity? It's getting late, huh? But if you don't make that decision now about what Jesus did when he went to that cross, huh? He shed his blood. Pentecost coming up. Am I right? What we're going to celebrate, it was about the blood. When Jesus brought them out of Egypt, I'm telling you, when he brought you out of sin, it's what about the blood, huh? Put the blood over the doorpost, huh? In every one house that didn't have the blood, the firstborn child died. It's easy to say, well, I don't believe that. Don't believe it if you want, but it happened. That's what faith is about. And I say to every mother today, don't ever degrade yourself and feel like you are not worthy. I'm going to close up on this. Remember Rahab the holler? Come on now, get with me. She was a prostitute. That's about as low as a woman can get with her body. Sell it. Huh? But then in the lineage, she was there bringing Christ into the world. Was right there, huh? And nothing you can do that God can't forgive you. But you have to repent. Turn away. Even as born again believers, he said, if my people who are called by my name, would humble themselves, seek my face, turn away from their wicked will. In other words, get right with God. He said, then will you help from heaven and will heal your land, whatever your land is, whatever you're going through. But my wife just closed that out in that last scripture. I said I was going to close out on about, I didn't tell you about how they was trying to degrade Jesus, making it look like he don't care about mama. Do this sound like a Jesus don't care about his mother? Uh-huh. 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 So his mother, I'm talking about a mother. Disciple standing by. Who he loved. His mother. Now his, I'm talking about his mother come out of the wound of a woman. God his mighty himself ordained. Life. I'm talking about living, not dying. What he said? Listen to this. Woman, behold thy son. He said, he said mother, that means that what Mary, the mother of Jesus Christ, was the famous woman in the world. I'll back up to that word. It said, uh, at the beginning, it says, mother, mother. Mother, this, this 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 part of the text. Mother, mother, Eve. That name Eve got a lot of meaning behind. That name Eve means event. Event. Nothing on the face of the earth has ever happened like an event like this. But don't you ever forget it. it was an event. Something happened. God took. The real from a man and created the woman. And he looked at her and said, Woman, the mother, the mother, a woman. Only God could do that. See what you want to say. I, this ain't something I'm making up. It's something that happened. I just think about how you 
get here, huh? Event. We practice for event. We have events all the time. And we forget about some of the things we put into it. But this is one event you can never forget. Look at yourself, women. Look at yourself, a mother. Look at who you are. Look at the life that you brought into the world. Man, enjoy that wife. I realize now that if I had a know what I know now, I know what a touch a woman. The Bible says it's not good for a man to touch a woman. But for, you know, sexual, whatever you desire, but it's better to get mad. Am I right? But when you're messing with a woman, you're messing with life. You're messing with God. You're messing with life, huh? Life. I'm talking about eternal life through that woman, huh? Is life. So don't mess around, mistreat that woman. You mistreat God. Because that woman, what? Is that life. Read on what it says. Look, now here, here, here he is. Where well, the, 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 the devil trying to make him like, he don't care nothing about you both. He don't care nothing about you. He just he, he just up there. He he going on back to heaven and, 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 and where he said he was going. I don't know. Read on what he said. Then he said he to the disciple. Behold thy mother. Behold thy mother. And from the hour, now listen. And from that hour, from that, hour that took her, took her to, his to his own house. He provided for his mother. I'm talking about in the flesh, the human flesh. And you think he won't provide for you as a mother? Huh? It, it took her into his own house. He see that she was taken care of, huh? Then he left and went on back to the cross. And I'm going to close out. We're working up to Pentecost. Come on now. Forget about fasting and all this. If you, if you ain't going to believe the word of God. And he came back. Got up from that grave. Resurrection time. The third day, he was resurrected from that grave, huh? And when he's come back, and we call it the day of Pentecost, I, I agree with that 100%, but something happened, huh? He come to live inside of each one of us. He said, behold, I stand at the door and knock. Any man hear my voice and open up, I'm coming in. And when you got Jesus on the inside of you, what you got to worry about? Don't worry about a thing, huh? You take care of the devil, huh? But when you don't clean the house, make sure you got him in first. Because if you don't, seven demons going to come in. You'll be worse off than you was before you even accept the Christ. So let that house be filled. Let Jesus Christ be in there. He'll take you through. Sometimes it's best to just keep your mouth shut when you don't know what to say or what to do. That's what happened to me over the weekend, huh? I had to keep my mouth shut. Then the Lord just tell me, don't say nothing. Don't say a thing. I'm going to fix it, huh? And God fixed it so until I had to start crying myself, tears come rolling down my face. I said, it's you, Lord, it's you. I said, it's you, Lord. I give you the glory. He put that demon to flight. That demon just stopped, walk away from me. Didn't even say a word to me no more about where I'm going. And I didn't even bother getting in touch with him. And I left it at that. The Lord tells me to be here today. And ain't no devil could have stopped it, huh? Now, I could have make it bad by confronting him and telling him, you know what I mean, what I'm going to do. But I see what the Lord have done. And then I'll get with him. I'll get with him in a nice, a humble way, right? And let him know I love him, but let him know you, you're not who you think you know that I am. But now I'm going to let you know and tell you, huh? But time for me to let him know you, I mean, my testimony, huh? Whether he receive it or not, huh? Now, he's trying to get me to think that he's smarter than me. He's talking about, I got favors with the boss up top. I didn't say a word, but I got favors with the one over the boss up top. <laughs> but, but he wouldn't understand that. He, he ain't ready for that yet. But I let God just prove himself to me. That let me know, I'll take care of this hamper. I'll take care for you. Now, that demon has got to go. He harassed you long enough, huh? But, but I waited. I waited. Let patient have the perfect work. That you may be in time more than nothing. Let patient run his course. And it ain't easy, huh? To try and up your faith, huh? huh? The Bible says you don't be wishy washy, huh? You ask God for something, hold on to it. Hang on in there. Weeping may do for a night, but joy coming in the morning. Hang on in there. Don't doubt it, huh? 
Now he said, but if you like wisdom, ask God. God will give you wisdom. Two people, not only direct himself, got other people. And he said, but let not that person think that they're going to receive anything from God. If you don't put fears to it, you like a wave tossed about in the sea. Rich and wise. He's a double-minded man and still in all his ways. Don't be double-minded. When things are going good, hallelujah, thank you, Jesus. But when things are going bad, I don't know. That's double-minded. He said, trust him. Trust him. I don't pray to pay off it. Somebody give me the time. Somebody tell me what time it is. What time it is? Huh? It's 128. Stand on your feet. Whatever you need from God. Whatever. This is it right now. I'm talking about healing and I'm talking about salvation. Huh? I pray that those who are watching that don't know the Lord, that salvation huh, has come into this house and right where you at. And for those who are sick in their body, I'm talking about deliverance. I'm talking about healing. I'm talking about miracle signs and wonders. You got the same thing in me that I got in you. And we both know that if we're touching and agree by faith, huh? Laying on, on the hands is good. Now I don't go against what I'm talking about right now in this place where you at. I'm gonna believe God with you. That healing, deliverance. You going to the doctor, you're doing what you're supposed to do. You're doing everything, you're doing what's right. But don't you think God's hand is not in? Oh, yes, he is. His hand is in. But then he can deliver you right now. A miracle is going to happen. And I feel it in my spirit. I feel it in my bones. I feel it all the day long on Friday. And I'm feeling it now. Tell my people, huh? Ask me for what you want. I got it. I got it. I got it. Just come and ask me, huh? And you ask right now in your spirit, huh? And when you're talking about speaking in tongues, spirit of God, that's what speaking in tongues about talking to God, huh? huh? You bypassing me, you talking to God, huh? He understands what you said when you go up, get up ahead of us. You don't think God understands that? And the devil trying to say, oh, you don't know what you're talking about. You're just making that up. That's a lie from the pit of hell. Do what he said, do. Cancer. High blood pressure. He gives you doctors, he gives you medicine, good medicine. But there's some things he's going to do. And you're going to know he's spoken. I wouldn't put my life on the line and speak this thing if I didn't believe it, that God is going to do I wouldn't do that, huh? I don't have to do that. But God tell me to tell you, ask for what he wants. Along with the pastor, we will touch and agree. Huh? He is the shepherd of this fold, huh? Obey the shepherd, huh? And I tried my best to remember, huh? What God said, do, you do it, huh? The pastor and what he's going through. God is working through him, healing other folks. Other folks getting their blessing and healing. He just had them patient enduring, huh? But right now, huh? I touch and agree with him right now. That you right now, and you ask God, huh? You're going to have a testimony the next time you come in God's house. You're going to have a testimony, huh? And don't be ashamed to share it. Say, man, this happened. His word went forth out of your mouth. And I believe it will not return void. Lord, heal every person in this house that's sick, whether it's mentally, physically. Lord, heal them. Touch their body, Lord Jesus Christ. You as a spirit, Lord. And we know we worship you, true spirit. The choir sing the song. We worship. Oh, yes, God, huh? You got a blessing coming. You got a blessing coming. And those who are not seeing, watching, you hear the word of God, come on over here to Beulah. You know, you bragging on Beulah. Yeah, I'm bragging on Beulah because I'm a part of it, huh? And you can come over here and get what you need. You can come over here and get saved, baptized, filled with the Holy Ghost. Make your way, airplane, walk, how you get there, but get there. All churches are like that. All over the world should be like that. Yeah, I'm pleased with you. A lot tell me I see you on Facebook, and I watch you on Facebook. But when are you coming? Are you saved yet? If nothing else passed, I'm going to do this. Anybody? I'm, I'm, I'm going to dismiss. Is it all right? Is it well? All is well. Father, in the name of Jesus, lift your hand to the Lord. Lord, we receive life eternal. The mother, you are mother. 
You are Father. You are everything. Bless them, Lord, as they go forth this day, Lord. Let the church, let the, everyone acknowledge and appreciate mamas. Appreciate him. In Jesus' name we pray. We receive it. Say amen. Say amen. Say amen. Say amen. And amen. What that means that you say, so be it. I agree. That's what amen means. So be it. Thank you, Lord. God bless you. Have a happy Mother's Day.